This week, we're taking a look at how different parts of our province are preparing for the wildfire season. Last year, pets and livestock owners in nor pet and livestock owners in northern BC and in the interior struggled to protect their animals from smoke and had to be prepared to evacuate. We have all their crates on standby. We have a trailer hooked up to a vehicle in our parking lot. Our staff has been incredible. They were up um, all night last night working in shifts, just walking the perimeter, making sure that no burning debris came down there. In the Okanagan, one organization is anticipating another year of rescuing and sheltering domestic animals and livestock from areas impacted by wildfires. Daryl Myers is the president of the Animal Lifeline Emergency Response Team. Thanks for joining us, Daryl. It's really good to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, your organization has rescued hundreds of animals during last year's wildfire season. What was the most challenging part of last year? Probably the most challenging part were that was there were so many fires burning all at the same time. So our volunteers were spread really thin from the Soyuz border all the way up to Kelowna. And that so many people just weren't prepared with their, with their animals. So on that note, how are you preparing to help animals this year? And do you have capacity to do that? Well, what we're hoping is we're hoping that people, rem if they have a grab and go bag for themselves, that they make sure that they have one for their animals. So it's so important for them to be ready. It's important for them to also know that if you can't have your animal stay with you at a hotel, where are you going to put your animal? Livestock owners should know that they need to have trailers ready. They need to have crates for chickens. Um, if your horse hasn't been loaded for years and years and doesn't know how to get in a trailer, you need to practice that now so that if emergency and evacuations happen, you're able to take care of most of it. We'll come in and help anybody that certainly needs the help for sure. And how is your organization preparing to help the animals? Um, are you feeling anxious about it? Are you, you know, preparing with different supplies and, and game plans? Yeah, so we have, a, we're preparing a couple of our facilities. We have a facility in Oliver where we can take livestock. We have a facility in Penticton for livestock and one for domestic animals. So we're in the process right now of getting everything ready, getting uh, chicken coops built, getting stalls ready, getting uh, supplies um, to be able to take animals in and house them if people aren't able to take care of them. We're putting our crews together to, and training them to be able to do rescue and to be able to do maintenance where we will go in and feed people's animals um, if they have to leave them behind. Why, Daryl? Why do you do all of this great work to, to help the animals impacted by wildfires? Well, I was caught in the 1994 uh, fire here in Penticton, uh, and I had to leave. I had a lot of animals at that time and small children, and we had to leave a lot of animals behind when we were evacuated with the Garnet Fire, and it was devastating for us. We didn't lose anything, but my kids were crying because we had to choose who we were going to take and who we had to leave behind. And it was, it was just a really, really difficult situation. So we hope that people don't get caught in that situation. And that's why our volunteers do what they do. Daryl Myers is the president of the Animal Lifeline Emergency Response Team. Thank you so much, Daryl. Thank you so much for having me and everybody be prepared.